Hello, and welcome back to Siberia 3. I did another run of the water thing just to check that one thing out, the key, and I noticed something. Before I even did that, I noticed that in this save, the one where we have done the water thing, we do not have the square key. It's gone, even though I picked it up, because apparently it's meant to be used underwater and nowhere else. But I still have the chain, which is very strange. Still works, despite the rust. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you're meant to take the chain. I don't think you're meant to be able to take it after. Like, I just don't think they anticipated anyone would actually put everything in place and then unlock the thing and then take the chain before pulling the switch to like open the door so I think we kind of uh, cheaped out that one which is great now I can keep it as a souvenir forever but I also made uh, I I backed up the backup or I, I it's very convenient actually despite the whole auto save thing and we only have one save file to keep saving and all that stuff it is very very easy to copy files and just rename them like I just created a new file just because I named the the third one number three instead of number two even though it's like a full giant long name with a special like tag or ID code none of that seems to matter it's it's great so yeah you can oh yeah I bet that code is just like to indicate the the date and stuff and like when you played it maybe I don't know but yeah, I just made this one so we can go back and check so I can show you exactly. Oh, and I guess we can read this. You may be able to obtain information that will make it easier to convince the people you speak with. Search everywhere and speak to everyone you meet. Oh, okay. Well, didn't think it would save here. I thought it saved like on the ocean floor, but oh well. Guess we get to watch this a third time. Or is it fourth? I don't even know anymore. But yeah, let's just... I just want to show you what the square key does. And it's a bit weird. So we'll get to that. I have some things to bring up. Some points. And I've kind of decreased the whole replay value aspect. Like, some of the questions I was wondering and wanted to check out in a new playthrough have been answered. But some still remain. So yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. One second, gotta let the, the cutscene play out. It's just gotta wait. Alright, here we go. And now we gotta make it over there. Very slowly. I did notice, did you notice that? It's like, very strange. If you start running right when you're, like, when you first load in here, she actually runs as if it's on land. And then, like, after a couple steps, it's like she realizes, oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to be in water here. And she, like, slows down. I don't know, it's it's odd. So... Don't even really need to take these, honestly. I just need to take the, the square key. Let's just grab that. The square key seems to be entirely optional from what I can see at least because I did the whole convincing the mayor thing I'm not sure if maybe if you fail to convince him you actually have to use the square key again I'll explain more once we get over here and can actually use it oh my god I spoiled it yep we use it here because Apparently, there's a keyhole right here, and if you open the inventory here, you can see it. But there's no reason to ever use it. Except, when you do, what you see is... Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Again, I didn't click it. I clicked here on the key, and then just moused over, and it just, like, slotted in. But yeah, now we can turn it to the right. And it opens the door, and then we can grab the door and swing it open, like this. And we see the mechanism. 
so it doesn't actually affect anything, it's just for visual reference. It's so that you can see, oh, stacked gear wheel, large cog, cog, and chain. And that's how you can figure out, like, how to replicate the left side, I suppose. And then you can, like, open this up normally and see how that works and all. It's a bit weird, because then what's the point of the plans? Because I feel like... Maybe if you don't convince the mayor, then you wouldn't be able to, like, trial and error the, the left gate. Maybe she would say, like, I don't know how this fits together or something, but I kind of doubt it. But I feel like she should. She should do that, forcing you to use the, the square key on the right so that you could, like, see the model. And then you can look at it and she would say, so that's how it works or something. And then you could go back and actually trial and error all the parts together. And same if you do convince the mayor, I feel like she should say, when you open the diagram, she should say something like that, like, hmm, so that's what I'm working with. Just so you know that that's a trigger, now we know how it works, so now we can trial and error it in the puzzle, or in the, the screen. I don't know, maybe that doesn't make sense. It does to me. I just find it a bit weird that, like, I didn't even see the keyhole, and you don't need it. There's no reason. You don't need the brochure thing that explains how the cogs fit together. You don't need to look at the configuration on the right, because it's it, you just, like, click on things and slot them in where they fit, because they don't fit anywhere else. It's, it's odd. I guess it might be confusing if you don't know that you need a chain or something like that, but even that is pretty obvious, because you can see, you can clearly see when you put all the, the cogs in place, that the wheel doesn't touch anything, so it's useless. But, I don't know, a little bit odd. And again, it kind of decreased the replay value, because it seems like... I mean, I kind of answered most questions, but I, I still do kind of want to figure out, or uh, find out, what happens if you don't convince the mayor, and if it changes at all, or if you can still just trial and error it, like I did. But anyway, let's actually load this old save and continue on where we left off. So there we go. All of the items in your... Never mind. Hello, guy. The nomads are putting all of their junk away. Oh god, his neck, what was that? Is he an owl? Get a move on. The town entry point oh will be my god. In an hour. What the <sighs> fuck is that? Um... I think you might have fucked up something there, my Kreutz. The are all of Unless you away. intended for him to be an owl man, yeah, owl the person. Will be shut in less than an hour. <gasps> Is he gonna do it again when he puts that away? Come on, break your neck. Oh my god, he's completely broken. Wait, is the book gone? Ah, oh, I, I was hoping he would like leave a floating book right there. But I guess he's not going to break his neck anymore. Was that just a temporary thing? Because that was amazing. The nomads are putting yeah, all of okay. Away. So I did notice... Oh, oh, I see, he wants to move. I did notice, uh, after I ended off the episode here, I noticed if, that if you open the inventory, you can actually use something on the door here. So I imagine the door is actually closed. So let's see. No, I... Didn't I click the, the eyeball? Did I not click the eyeball? I swear I clicked the eyeball. I did click the eyeball. It's the same. Then why have the eyeball? Oh, because that's knock. There's an interrogation. Keep moving. Oh. Interrogation, you say? Does that mean the detective is in there? Can't use that. Nope. Knife. Nope. 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 She doesn't even say anything, so I, I guess I can't do anything here. There's an interrogation. Can I interrupt again? Stop interfering with the wheels of justice. Let's keep interfering. There's an interrogation. Yeah, okay, I figured. Alright. I saw a bunch of people and they're gone now. Are they over here? I hope. Is that them? 
Yeah, that's them. Hello, ma'am. My husband wants to take me to the lake shore before the souk closes. He's still such a romantic. I don't know what a souk is. That's where he popped the question. You know? I do know. My husband wants to take me to the lake shore before the souk closes. He's still such a romantic. Well, that's good for the you. The locals are packing up all of their merchandise for the night. We're going to watch the sunset over the lake before going home. The Yukels are packing up all okay. of the merchandise for the night. Enjoy, lovebirds. And we can't watch. Oh, we can watch the, the sunset. Going down. I have to hurry and get the Yukels together, or the captain will be furious. But it's so pretty, though. A nice romantic sunset. Though it'll probably be dark by the time we get the the Yukels to the boat. Can't we just like wait for tomorrow? Why do we need to go right away? What's what's the urgency? Was there an urgency? I guess the uh the ostriches. They were kinda like needing to fucking go. But we don't know how how urgent that is. And here we go! Bunch of Yukols. Route still long for tribe. You calls must think carefully one step at a time. That sounds very wise. And yeah, everything is like clean. That's cool. Day was very, very long. I'm sure it was still as long as any other day. Do. Day was very, very long. Well, you need to pack up and get moving with me. I'll wait with that side. Hi. Husband hiding again. Hiding? Men never ever want to help. Oh, Stubborn I see. Like old ostriches. Is he in the like uh, the ostrich hut thing that we could check in on? Mm, cloud burst. What does that mean? Long live sacred lands. Tribe will rest again. What does that mean? Mm, cloud burst. Good business today. But client tourists are becoming more nasty. Now you go happy when long day come to end. Sad. Good business today. But Wait, so you you're sad that nasty. you're happy that the I day ends done. after like hard work. What? The Yukels have already packed up most of their merchandise. That means there'll be less to do when we strike camp. The we? Already She's already saying we. She's completely set on this. To do when we strike that was quick. Oh. The have already oh, that's what I looked at. I thought I was looking at the birds. That means be less to do when we strike camp. And the squid figure or statue is still here. I'm assuming I I want to go and talk to Ayahuasca. To feed great ostriches good food. Took? Sure. Water for ostriches still clean, thanks to Miss Ketwalk. Important to feed great ostriches good food. Took. You're welcome, Anton. Oh, well, I meant to look at him, but I guess petting is fine too. This one guy is getting some special treatment. He's the only bird that Kate likes. Yeah, th this guy on the right is like fucking jealous. He just looked over. Day was very, very long. Okay, and it's actually hard to like see things from this side, so I'll I'll just like talk here. Oh, never mind. She'll do it on her own. Well, that's fine. Like, what is that? Can find nothing more for Miss Kitwok. Day is over. Die? Can find nothing more for Miss Kitwok. What die? Not much time to put everything away before nightfall. Not much time to put everything away before nightfall. Hmm. So we should probably just wait for tomorrow. Really. Let's be reasonable here. And I just want to see, is there any way I can go? I can't go out to the like... No. I see, that's what they did. They like blocked the entrance where you came from with a boat and the the dam and all that with all the merchandise can't look at the 
skull anymore. And yeah, nothing else here. All right. So the interrogation really was the detective, but wouldn't he come out when I knock? I guess he wouldn't know it was me. Oh yeah, he's like interrogating them to find the pass. <laughs> Miss Kate Walker found another way for you girls to cross Sacred Lake? Yes, it's unbelievable. I found a boat that could take all of you and your herd too. Totally the unbelievable. Captain, Captain Oboe is waiting for us at the port. First, we all must wait Kirk. Guide of Yukos, made like new with his new magic leg. Definitely magic. Simon Steiner, the Valsenbor clockmaker, finished Kirk's prosthesis and took it to the clinic. They're going to come down together and meet us on board the crystal. No, they're not. So Yukos make use of night to pick up entire camp. Much, much work for us tonight. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Here comes Speed Detective. Are they gonna get fucking murdered? That was like set up like a fucking horror movie or something. Oh my god, it's a horror movie! Okay? Ha, well done! Great! Now we're really getting somewhere. What does that mean? Hi, Olga! It's just a minor setback. As long as their spiritual guide is here, in our hands, the nomads are going nowhere. Excuse me, he just left. I hope you know what you're doing, Olga Efimova. The rest of my men won't be arriving for another few hours. It'll be hard to keep those savages here without breaking heads. And I don't want to create a scandal here in Valsimbor. Don't worry, Colonel. If we do it my way, we won't need your army of mercenaries to solve the Yukal problem once and for all. What do you mean, though? Like, they, they're gonna leave no matter what. So, what's the difference? Why do you not want them to leave? Because they'll come back in a few years? What are they doing? Maybe? Please calm down, Captain. Sarah promised to send Steiner and Kirk down as soon as they get there from the clinic. I'm sure they'll show up. It doesn't matter if they I'm sure now they won't. From now. As I've been you saying. Supposed to leave before night time. What? I Did he just stutter? No he keeps doing that. His voice lines are like all broken. Listen. If it makes you feel better, we can leave tomorrow at dawn. Until then, I'll go see how everyone is getting on. And you try to calm down a bit. Everything will be fine, Captain. And the music just stopped. Or, like, background noise. So wait, is it nighttime or morning now? Because didn't she imply that, oh, it'll be, like, we'll take the entire night to pack up. And then they rode out on the great stampede of ostriches. And now... Hi. Is this thing gone? Yeah, I can't, like, look here where she said, nobody. Or no one, or whatever it was. But I can check out this little guy. Okay. Prefer what caravan able to cross winter ice of lake. Much safer for everybody. Tuk -tuk. Well, beggars can't be choosers. So I'm assuming if I go... Wait, am I meant to check on the Yukols? I, I guess so. Because, yeah, if I go down and check the storage, then I should, like, see all of them. Who need much, much fresh air when ostriches leave? Oh, happy not stuck in hold with herd. Nanook metal really safe? It's Nanook metal, not metal. 
look old and rusty. Shitty pronunciation. Nanook metal really safe? Boat must not leave at night, Miss Catwalk. Keelak hungry at night. Boat must not leave at night. But we're Ms. going Catwalk. to have to leave at night because there's gonna be a fucking army. And that's what's gonna set up the fucking monster lake, lake monster, monster thing. Yep, I know it. I fucking know it. Oh, and the wheel is back. Welcome back, wheel. You were missed. What, are doing? what was. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, I see. He's I'm fucking raging. No question of us leaving at night. God, we leave during the day, she said. She'll give it straight back between the eyes. Wait, me? You want to punch me? What on earth are they doing? My god! Okay. Oh, hi. Captain, talk too loud as many very, very great pieces. Tuk tuk. Captain hide big bottle in book before. Oh, but Captain, he found talk it. Talk too loud as many very, very great pieces. Tuk tuk. And we can't look at the record player anymore. Or whatever that is. Some kind of gramophone or something like that. Hello? Can, can you not go down? Oh, she really wanted to use that staircase for some reason. Okay. What is going on? Where are you going? What are you doing, Kate? Sh I can't even stop her. Oh my god. What the Ew. hell? Captain could maybe help. Miss oh. Catwalk, maybe want to take shovel a little? Oh, I see. No, I thought she meant Ew. like I thought something Captain was broken. Could maybe help. It's very quiet. Captain, talk too loud. Ask you call to feed greedy boiler. Him smell of vodka like shaman after ceremony. How Captain, do you know what vodka is? Captain, talk to feed greedy boiler. Him smell of vodka like shaman after ceremony. Yep, I knew it! This is exactly what I, well, not quite exactly what I had envisioned, but I told you so. Looks like everybody's in place. Perfect. Yep. Great. So I, I guess we had to look at that and now go back to, oh, what's that? To the captain? Mm. Work bench. Too high. I see. Nanook, mate, you are... Good boy, I cannot mate. even see him in there. He is completely invisible. This is pitch black. Oh my god, this is so fucking... Wait. Oh my god, this is... Wait, this is not even intentional. I'm like through the fucking ball. I am! What in the world? So it's not pitch black, it's just like clipping through the fucking wall. What the hell? Um... Yeah, this is not... This is not right. That's not right. I did not even notice before. What is that? What the hell? And this too! Um... I, I can't even begin to imagine what would do that. Like, how? why would that possibly be a thing? Am I not even meant to be down here at this point? Or did the game just completely break? Oh shit, did it break because I broke the steering wheel and everything is like corrupted now? And I don't get any background noise and I don't like, everything is fucked up. Maybe... Maybe I did something really, really bad, but I'm gonna keep playing and see if we can get through everything, but maybe we can't. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly check up here. I bet, yep, there's someone up here. And she just teleported down again. Yep, instantly. I did not even turn around. What? Okay. Did, did I ever mention this game might have a bug or two? Just... just a couple. Nothing you can't iron out, if you really wanted to. 
You kind of do have to want to, though. Okay, we can go up this staircase. Oh, I meant to talk here. Okay? Oh, fuck. Um, stop. In that case, I, I kind of just wanted to. I was hoping that this would just be a talk twice and then nothing. And then it would leave the ship. But I guess not. You were meant to... Oh, fuck. I thought we could leave the ship, but I, I guess we can't leave the ship. So we had to check in with Ayahuasca here. So we'll do that next time. We'll just continue on right here. Thanks for watching the episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!